All right, we're good in three, two, one. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> yes, All right, Brian and I are here from the We Miss the Exit show, and we are here to talk about our basketball game that we're doing, the NBA King of the Tag, You're It kind of thing, where one team has a trophy, and if they continue to win, they keep the trophy, and if they lose, that team that they lost to then takes the trophy. So, Brian, I think we should just jump right into it then. Yeah, I'm excited because I think that's the first time you've said it correctly. <laughs> I think the whole I, way. I think I've. Like, if, you look, if you fact check me on that, I think I'm right. I think of the like five or six shows that we've done. I think I've changed the name every single time, and this is finally the first right. time I got it right. I don't have my glasses on. I got it right. This got is the it. first time. All right. Well, let's keep the graphic. By the way, it's pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, isn't it my my Microsoft uh, Paint graphic? Yeah. Ooh, by the way, I did not fix this compared to last week thing. I forgot. To, I meant to do that this morning, and I completely forgot. So, uh, ignore that bottom part compared to last week. But these are updated standings on what we have so far, Brian. Uh, what do you what do you what do you think so far of the standings? Um, I was looking at this earlier. I think you and I are the only people that have two bad teams. I don't mm. think Hornets are bad on Evan's side. I think that they're just starting slow. Same with the Lakers. So I think that's hurting us. But you got to remind yourselves that this is not what's important. So it, it's it, cool. It's, it's our, arguably a little more interesting to look at it from some perspectives. But it, it I think is. it's uh, it, it's, you know, the, it's the more interesting is it's the more interesting part that has no factor into what we're doing at all, but is the most more interesting part of it. But yeah, you and I are the only two team two people that have bad teams. Because Evan's bad teams, the Lakers are doing much better, and the Hornets yeah. have been without Lamelo, so I get that. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say the same for Kurtz. Oh no, no, yo, you, you're the one with Detroit and San Antonio. Never mind, <laughs> never mind. I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty bad. So uh, my question for Kurtz this got a lot of mediocre. And then he's got the Bucks. He does. Like, the, the Trailblazers have fallen off the radar, man. They, they started off hot. We're, they were, like, his number two team behind the Bucks, and they, they're just, like, like crap. But Lillard's been out. I know that because we'll talk about our fantasy matchup uh, later and yeah. all this stuff. But Lillard's been hurt for a while. But So the question down there says who will catch Kurt first, but that wasn't going to be my question. My question was going to be who's going to get to 25 first? Like, do you think it's going to be Evan or myself? Or do you think you or Kurt are going to go on a run? Like, look at your sons at 15 and 6. Imagine if they had the trophy early on. Well, they're, I know, it's it, the next couple of days is going to really play into that. I, I don't think the Pelicans are uh, that bad of a team either. You know what I mean? If they, they run into one of your uh, teams, I, I don't think I'm going to get 25 first just because so Nobody's gotten behind. 21 yet, so you know, I, so I don't think it's gonna be Kurt either. I think it. If, I, if you're asking me that question, I think I think you're gonna get there first, cause just because you've captured it the most. Well, and here's what it is, like. Uh... Kurt's, I don't think Kurt has a chance because the Bucks aren't going to be playing the West because right now the trophy's out in the West. It's my Denver Nuggets, and Kurt has is really his best team. The most formidable team is the Bucks, and. I don't think they're going to be playing a Western team or at least winning one of those important Western teams anytime soon. And your Phoenix Suns, I don't think they're playing the Nuggets anytime soon either. So I, I don't foresee you getting it anytime soon, Brian. Sorry. It's okay. Just keep keep chugging along. I didn't hey, answer myself. We're, we're only like, what, a quarter of the way through the season, so I think we're good. Yeah. But here's a recap of what we have so far. You know, it was going between you and Evan for a little while. You know, Evan had it, yeah, and you took it. With it. Yeah, I think you said your Bulls were gonna get, grab the trophy at some point, so you called that, I believe. Yeah, and I also, if we're going on the record, I think I'm gonna call uh, the Pelicans taking it from hold, hold the on. Nuggets. Hold on. on. Wait for the next page because we're gonna be talking about that in a little bit. But yeah, anyway, that was the recap. All right, so here's. Oh, real quick. Sorry. So this is this, tonight. This is tonight. This is what's going on right now. We're we're trying to we're trying to find the link to be able to watch Evan's stream because Evan coaches basketball right now, and uh, I think that's what we're going to be trying, to, or at least I'm going to try to find his game. But um, this is tonight. Uh, this is actually like almost like a 50-50 game. Uh, Brian, where where do you put the game? Um, I think the Hawks. I like the Hawks home team advantage. You do, yeah. Um, I, I'm I'm torn. I just think when, it, when you're looking at some of the, the major injuries, you know, the majority of the injuries, the, the more important ones are on Denver, but um, the Atlanta Hawks are missing some of the key components of their less 
big role players like like Justin Holiday, John Collins, and DeAndre Hunter. They're important players, but they're role players. Jamal Murray, Michael Porter on Denver are starters. You know, so um, I I actually could see the Hawks winning this. Bonus, I have the Hawks. I know. I was just gonna say you're in a good situation now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing too bad right now. So, right. the Hawks. This is. I, I might have said the Hawks earlier, but I really I I think uh, I think Sunday is when I take the trophy back. You think you're taking? And here's the thing: I think I said it like the first week that I thought New Orleans was your one of your excuse me uh, sleeper picks. I thought like they were going to be a really good team, and they're doing around quite four well. Or five. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I said on record like that was your best value pick because you got them. Think about that; they're 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 stacked. They have four solid players: Ingram, uh, Ingram, McCollum, Williamson, and Valanciunas. Those are really solid offensive players, and a lot of them can all score from the outside. So, and that's the way the NBA is going nowadays. Ooh, and here's our uh, here's our ESPN fantasy league right here. We uh, oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, we uh not I, even I, not even like a not even, five three six two seven a f- deep. Look at this though. <laughs> not even not even close though, Brian. Like look at like nothing was even relatively close. No, at all. just blew out of the water. <laughs> like it wasn't it wasn't even like we lost blocks by like two or assists by like ten. It was it was like Evan and I were just like you know what we let the front gates open and we're like just take them take all every category just go for it. It, it was it you was know. atrocious. You know how I was adjusting the headings and stuff? I just realized I missed this one. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like how it says ESPN Fantasy L, L. with the baby. <laughs> we got the L on that one. Yeah, we did. That was so brutal. Maybe I got it intentionally. Oh, see, but see, I like this graphic too because you're killing I believe, it. Was it last week, two weeks ago, whatever it was? You mentioned that you were going to overtake me as. Uh, one of the top third teams in the standings. So I'm just curious I, what your thoughts are on that. Uh, I think uh, our. Our injuries have hurt us quite a bit, but uh, look at look at the moves. Look at the moves. Fifteen to nine. I think your moves are the reason why you're as high as you are. Because not just because you're making moves, but because you're making the right moves. That's what you're supposed to do in fantasy. Have one, right. uh, uh, you know, guy that you can go in and out, in and out. Just one player that it doesn't matter who you get or whatever like that. You, hey, I need a couple rebounds this week. I'm gonna grab a guy who has four games this week who grabs a lot of rebounds that's what i'm going to grab and i think you're doing the right thing right there you're doing the right i look stuff. at it as there are very few safe players on my team there's there's a whole lot of people that if i don't like the way they're playing i'll find somebody else yes and and that's the way you're supposed to do as it. long as they're you know producing there's, and like, there's a couple of players that are out right now i think that's across the league but i'm hanging on to y- yes but then i've got that level of like eh, you gotta earn your spot y- y- exactly and and unfortunately i'm gonna be playing <laughs> that evan has two players he won't let me drop who are two players i want to drop i want to drop marcus smart and kevin herter and he won't let me drop them for players that we could definitely pick malcolm brogd is on the waiver wire he should not be on the waiver wire right now he should not be there and I can't go yeah, pick him up. Starts. Yes, he starts and he's healthy. And some of the other Boston guys are hurt. Go, get... come on, Evan. Let now me go, that you let me go said get that, him. Evan, let me go get him. Maybe I'll make move number sixteen. Uh, and, but there, there, there are like two or three other players out there that are really solid. I know. I see Malcolm Brogdon. I'm like, he's a, he's like an eight to ten round guy that you that should have been picked up, and I bet he was picked up. And she's sitting on the waiver wire, Evan. Evan. I, I thought I was pretty surprised that you dropped Kelly Olynyk. Um, so I've always, every year for the last like two, three years, I've gotten Col- Kelly Olenek and he's I picked a, him up and dropped him too, but I was also curious. I was like, Hmm, he's probably one that you want. Well, cause he's a, he's a, um, a 25 and 10 guy or a two points and one rebound guy. He's right. never, he's never consistent. I've got him the last two, three years and you got to get him at the right. It's like playing the stock market, uh, the, the stupid way you got to get him at the right time. Otherwise He's a waste. Um, but there were just better big men out there. Like I dropped Mason Plumley, I think, and because uh, Isaiah Stewart's back, he's not he's healthy now. Um, Marvin Bagley is back and he's killing it. So I was like, you know what? I'd rather go for somebody consistent. And Bagley dropped like twenty and ten the other day or something like that. So um, that's why I got rid of Olinick. Olinick does bring threes, but uh, he's too inconsistent for me. Not a fan. So I like Claxton. 
Uh, on I the have... on the net. Yeah, if you look at his stats, man, he he like gets double double probably three times a week, four times a week. He does, and if Simmons, you know, continues for four game, three or four games, you know, you and, know and, what I mean, if you're looking at the spread. So I had him on one of my other leagues. Um, but the problem with him is he was inconsistent. His his stats are going to be determined on how many of the other Nets players are healthy. Because yeah. if if Ben Simmons is hurt, Claxton's going to shoot right. Like he's a he's a must have kind of guy. Um, but if Simmons comes back, because they've been playing Simmons at the center a couple times, so he that eats away at Claxton. And not neither of those two guys can spread the floor. So it's like, um, you know, who do you go with? I mean, you need Durant to drop forty every night if you want to be able to put two guys in there that can't shoot threes. But I think he, he's a good flyer guy. You know, when when Simmons is down, get him, get him. He's a must have. I also dropped my uh, my team name player, Sadiq Bay. Yeah, I saw that. I was almost I was almost gonna bring that up. I was gonna say I think Brian should be required to always have Sadiq Bay. Kind of like how I was I thinking can't that. Drop but I was Smart. also like, oh, I'd <laughs> no, rather I change my name and, and just because he was hurt for a little while. He was out for like four mm-hmm. or five days, but he's also like a maybe he'll score twenty five and get like two assists and a rebound, or maybe he'll score eight. Well, and get a block. Like, so, he's not, not big numbers. I'm not filling up the stat sheet. At least not consistently. And here's the problem. Right. Um, Killian Hayes is back. And he's he's one of their guards. And uh, what's his face? Cade Cunningham has been killing it. So, yeah. I think he's Sadiq Bey is up against it. He he was fortunate last year that, you know, Killian Hayes was hurt. And Cade Cunningham didn't really play. So, I think he just had, you know, uh, a good situation, which is why it ran up. But, mm, yeah, I, I would have dropped him too. So, I think he made the right move. Yeah, you're good. Well, we're going to the next slide. All right. Ooh, who is this player? We're already Let's on see. who is that. All right. All right. Um, Can I ask, were they drafted by the Kings? Um, ah, Jeez, I don't remember. I want to say yes. I do want to say yes. Boston. It, he was, all right. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little, like a minute to process. 82 games in Boston. Yes, I'll, I'll give you a, and that's when he was an all-star. Um, I'd like to give you a couple hints. Mm. I don't want it to get. I don't want to give it away. Don't give me a um, couple. Give me maybe one. He was he was a second round pick. How about that? He was a second round pick. So so in the draft that he was selected, not a big name guy at all. He's quite the journeyman. He's got but good a good journeyman. And like, he, like, he was yeah. Well, I mean, not, probably not recently. He is currently trying to get a team. I don't know if that helps you. Um, I read basketball news because I have nothing better to do. Is but he, he's trying to. Oh, he's not playing right now. Correct. He is not playing right now. He is trying to find a team, though. Because I was thinking maybe Terry Rozier, if I'm looking at the Boston. and He's on Hornets. Right. Oh, no. that's oh, 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 oh duh. Charlotte. Okay. Oh, no. That, um, that would be a good guess, especially looking at the position, too. Point guard. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. And 82 games in Boston All Star year. I'm thinking, who mm. else? Like, that's a good guess. Yeah, that that that's a good guess. Uh, um, he was guy. on three teams. Okay, so LA Dallas um, for a game, or yeah, for a game. He like 13 minutes in Dallas. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, I I have a bunch of clues I could give you, but I think it would give it away. <laughs> Uh, I think the Terry Terry Rozier was not a bad guess based on some of the teams that he played for. Um, bit of a journeyman. Um, he went to Washington, Washington State or Washington. I, I forget which one. He played where Brandon Roy played. I don't know if that helps you. Um, th- th- all right, I can start to give you clues that might give it away. Uh, he no, sh- don't, don't. No? Give me a okay. second. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll give you a chance. All right. Um, he is a very... No po- Knicks. There's no Knicks. No Knicks. He's a very poor defender. Very bad defender. Um, he, like, I have I have a clue that would dead right give it away if you like you get ten seconds to think about it. You you would definitely get it. Um, he's all right. You you want that clue? What were you gonna say? He shares a similar name to an all time great. Oh, Isaiah Stewart or Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. Yep, this is Isaiah Thomas. Yep, one of my favorite point guards. Of oh, all time. that makes sense with Boston. Shoot, yeah. I should have, I should have done it and known it then. Yep, yep. I, I was gonna say like you know one of the shortest players to ever play, or, or at least be really good and and play. 
because uh, I think he's listed at five nine, which means he's like five seven. Um, yeah, that was I, Isaiah that Thomas. Old. What's that? It's not that old. What is he? Twenty? Is he thirty two? Thirty three. Um, yeah, oh. I I I get why nobody wants him because he's he's I need the ball to be effective and he's a high volume yeah. scorer, but like he can't defend. He's five seven, so yeah. I get it. But yeah, all right. That was that was uh, Isaiah Thomas. Good good. You 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 got the well, you clue real quick. <laughs> well, well, you got the clue really quick. Like I would have yeah, gone yeah. down. Like who else is named My- Magic Johnson? Like I don't know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right. Did you get your who's that Nick? I did. One, I did one year. One. Year. All right. Did he only out play? of a massive other? He's got a career. Oh, but dude, I took oh, one season. On. I. <laughs> so, come on. You can do this. I know you can do this. He was thirty in two thousand ten. I gotta think of what that team was. That would have been right before Mello. Um, and he was 30 at that time. He did okay. This is his entire Knicks career. His entire Knicks career. Not a great shooter for a shooting guard. It wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been Wilson Chandler because he was a shooting guard, small forward, and he was on the Knicks for like two years. It would have been around that. Uh, he was, I think, a little bit before that. But this would have been right before um, Mello. Can I ask a question? Was he a part of the Mello trade? No. And that was his only year. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. No, come on. I can give you hints. I can give you hints. Uh, nine points is nothing to scoff about. Um, it wasn't Ronnie Brewer, was it? No. No? Okay. Um, Matt right, Barnes? You to... Nope. You want a hint? Yeah. I wanted to go to a game. One of his games to watch him? Yeah. To watch him. Oh, uh, Tracy McGrady. Let's go. Yeah, Tracy McGrady. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should have known that. Okay, yeah. yes. If you if you had given me the rest of his career, I probably would have gotten it. So, oh, it would have yeah. been so okay. easy. Drafted by Toronto, went to Orlando, then Houston. Yeah, and then and huge in Orlando and Houston. It was loud after the knee issues. So, yeah. so um, I think... Okay, so in my head... That's right, because Tracy McGrady was a part of the whole amnesty thing. That like they they needed a salary, uh, and they needed to, like trade away a give her, give away a draft pick in order to get him to like cut salary and stuff like that. That's right, Tracy McGrady. Yeah, you and Evan, your yeah. favorite players, right? Well, yep. Yeah. Evan, Evan too. Yeah. Oh, geez, I can't believe I didn't get that. Oh. I think it all started when we were in uh, Orlando for Disney in like for Thanksgiving one year. And we went to like the basketball thing, and you could like get your picture tech next to oh, like a player. Well, yeah, like it was like a cardboard cutout essentially of T Mac, and then you could put your ball, your hand in the ball that Yao Ming <laughs> touched, and like his embedded handprints in there, and, and how big it was. Yeah, like oh, from geez. then on, it was like wow, T Mac for whatever reason is the man. Uh, I, yeah, I remember, playing for the Magic at the time too in Orlando. Yeah, that would have made yeah, that would have made sense. That's awesome. Okay, all right. Well, I needed a hint. Ah, that sucks. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, what, what am I? Two for two for three, or one one for one on this? One for two. Uh, one for two. One a uh, two for three. Two for the. Am I two for three? Okay. I the last that. time I forgot, but I gave you a quick on the spot trivia question. And I think you got it. Okay. Oh, the, one of them was Jamal Crawford. I remember that one. That was the first one, and then the trivia question was oh, Amari. Amari whose Sunlight. birthday was it? That's yeah. right. Okay. I I didn't quite get. It. Oh, then I came up with that. Uh. Oh, that was another thing I wish I had clipped. Um. The Amari Stoudemire thing. I made a really dumb joke about how, yeah, he he has the most uh, fire extinguishers punched, and all of you guys just like cricket sounds. <laughs> like, what the hell is he talking about? And I'm like, nobody. I remember that though. Me. He did. He broke his hand. Yeah, and he was out for the rest of the uh, the series. It's like the first playoff series in years, and you bust your hand open, you dick. Come on. Yeah. Oh geez. That's funny. I probably just like heard you say it and then. <laughs> Didn't register. And it was just it was just cricket sounds. I'm just sitting here like, right guys, right, 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 right. No, not at all. That was fantastic. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Kurt to pop on like right now, just because that's how Kurt is. Like, hey, we're ready to wrap up the show, and here's Kurt. I love this. I'm just, gonna go back this. <laughs> just just let that sit there. Whatever. This this will yeah, be this, this 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 will be the thumbnail for for the, for the YouTube <laughs> video. Just just. Hey, by the way, we suck. Brent's, yeah. Brent's not as, and what's stupid is, like, I was almost going to take a screenshot of my fantasy results of um, last week. Like, I won 
every single fantasy matchup last week. I'm like, see, guys, I'm not as bad as this <laughs> ESPN thing in this. Right. Oh, man, that was brutal. Last week sucked. When do we play again? Do you know? No, probably not for a little while. But I, I hope you guys are still paying attention by the time we do. Oh, I, I do. This is like. Right. The- I know there's no money in this one. I wish there was, but. This this is like Republic the, leagues, you know. I you gotta, you gotta just show them who's boss. I love fantasy basketball. Like this is the like I don't do fantasy football at all. Couldn't care less. But um, I love fantasy basketball. So so I I pay attention. I'm on here every day, just like like looking at the waiver wire. Like who can I? That's why I know Malcolm Brogdon's available. Come on, man. Yeah. So yeah, you, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit of a fantasy head. I won my fantasy baseball league. I'm winning one of my fantasy football leagues. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. Is football still? Are they? Is football playoffs yet? One more week. Okay, last week. All right. Do, does football? I think. Still... Well, I mean, like this week, and then one more. I think. Oh, okay. Does football? Sure. Does football still do seventeen weeks? Because I heard they weren't they trying to. They do eighteen the weeks. weeks, seventeen games. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I thought it was like seventeen and sixteen. But um, but for fantasy, it only goes to like week thirteen in oh, the playoffs. Yeah, that's 14, right. depending on your size. That's right. That's because they still want playoffs to be regular season in real life. So. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You eliminate half the players. <laughs> That's right. 